I know it's been a while, but been moving. We've moved around, moved to a new place. Uh, took a while for me to find the camera after we moved. After we moved, so yeah, that that's one reason why it's been such a while since the videos. Reason number two is pretty much the main reason. I've just been too too lazy to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't feel like doing much these days. Never mind the crap in the background. It's laundry day week. Yeah, it'll take me like a week to finish up all the laundry. But anyways, um, I am right now in week 38. Yeah, I missed quite a few appointments logging those. And honestly, I really don't feel like logging those, backlogging those like I did the other ones. So I'll just give you a quick update. I had a second sonogram. Um, still a girl. Yay. I decided to uh, do the baby's room and a Hello Kitty theme. So when I went to the second one to, the, to get the second ultrasound, I... Uh, Decided that um, if for some reason the first scan was wrong and it turned out to be a boy, screw it. I want to keep the room Hello Kitty because I really didn't feel like changing it since I had already started. That was, that was sucked for a little boy, but thank goodness it's still a girl. Um, Right now, I'm going to the doctor weekly and... Um, there's, there's the, well, I switched from the doctors to the midwives because my doctor was like, well, you're doing perfectly fine. You, I would suggest just seeing the midwives from now on. So I was like, fine. Um, the midwife so far for the past three weeks has said my cervix is constantly thinning out, but, uh, no no dilation so far of course I still have like 11 days to go till the due date anyways but it would be nice to go into labor maybe two three days early so I so I know for sure that I'm actually gonna be home for Christmas because the due date is on the 22nd and I don't know I really don't want to be in the hospital that close to Christmas so but anyways, well, right now is just waiting and waiting and lots of pressure on the, pel on the pelvis and really, really, really exhausted. And my feet just will not stop swelling. And it's just so horrible that sometimes I can feel the fluid on my my feet just jiggle as I walk it feels totally disgusting but uh, not much I can do about it but drink more fluids and prop my feet up and let it go uh, anyways um I don't know if I'm gonna make another video before I have the baby or not I guess you guys can just wait <laughs> and see so uh, till next time, I don't know when that will be, either before I have the baby or the next time you'll actually be seeing the baby, I'll be introducing, introducing the little one to the world, okay? See y'all later. <laughs>